Welcome to Bourbon School. I'm Lauren. And I'm Brian. And today we are going to continue our price point series by talking about a bunch of great bourbons that you can get for just under $40. Let's get started. Before we continue, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and hit the bell for notifications. Right. So without further ado, why don't we just get started? We've got five great bourbons for you guys. They're all under $40, some just a smidge under $40, but still under 40 mm -hmm. nonetheless. So let's just get going and throw our first bourbon up there, Lauren. Okay. Oh, my love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she kissed the bottle. Yes, I did. Four Roses small batch. Oh, you know I love this so much. I do. It's coming in at $33, 90 proof, and... I have, I, I've said enough about it. Let me tell you a cool story though. All right, okay. let's hear it. So the founder of Four Roses, Paul Jones Jr., um, he took a liking to a Southern Belle. Okay. I'm assuming Kentucky, we're talking, yeah. since yep. it's bourbon. Um, and so he proposed and he told her to wear Four Roses on her, what's it called? Corsage. Corsage, got it. If it was yes. Yeah. And she showed up to the Grand Ball with the Four Roses, right. indicating a yes. And um, so it was like a, a beautiful, magical love story. And of course, he named the bottle after you know their their courtship and uh, right. in honor of their love for each yeah. other. Yeah, yeah. So and it's pretty sweet. It is. It's it's a cute story. And and I I have kind of a soft spot for this one. This mm -hmm. is my grandpa's bourbon. Um, so I you know I have a special place for this one. And it's it's a great. I mean, for thirty three bucks. Mm -hmm. It is an amazing, amazing bourbon. Tell us a little bit about what we're getting in this bottle right here. All right, so we're using two mash bills, five yeast strains for a total of 10 recipes. That's a lot going into, right. the, into the, the bottle. And that's four roses in general, mm -hmm. all of their recipes. And then for this bottle. It's 250 barrels. Right. Uh, between six and seven years old. Yeah. So it's got a nice age on it. I know you don't like the higher uh, rye mash bill mm -hmm. there. But I like it. Yeah, and and four roses for me is fine. I I prefer sweeter mm -hmm. as opposed to that rye spice. Uh, but I'm not gonna say no to a four roses. No. Like if you're gonna pour it for me at your house, mm -hmm. I'm gonna drink it. It's quality. It's consistent. Yes. Delicious. Yeah, and that's the nice thing about a, a batched product is they work really hard to keep it consistent. So four roses, bottle to bottle, the small batch is gonna be real consistent. Okay, Brian, what's next? All right, next up on our list is, I, I consider this one to be like, no matter what level of bourbon drinker you are, you need to have this one on it's your a shelf. It's a staple, absolutely. It's Woodford Reserve. And Woodford Reserve is $36 a bottle. It's 90.4 proof. It's a non-age stated, uh, but... None of that matters because it's just a quality, consistent bourbon. Yeah, you really get a lot of vanilla. Yep. Um, it gives you that sweet, subtle flavor. Yep. It doesn't hit you over the head at that 90.4 proof. Yeah. But, um, it's very, very good. Yeah. Uh, what about the Kentucky Derby? Oh, yeah. So Woodford Reserve is the official uh, bourbon of the Kentucky Derby. So here's the deal. I found this very fascinating. Mm -hmm. So... The Woodford Reserve Mint Julep at the Kentucky Derby is a thousand dollars. Like that's like the for one drink. Yes. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you. Who are so, these people? I but what if I told you that that's all to raise money for charity? Okay, fine. All right. So can I it, get a cheaper one with that? I'm not. Giving? You can. You can. <laughs> so the Woodford Reserve Mint Julep is a thousand dollars, and that money goes to charity. Now that's you, insane. I'm sorry, I can't get over this. Well, I agree. It's wild. But that's why you and I aren't going to the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> but there is a more like budget-friendly kind of pedestrian version of the mint julep that you can get at um, the Kentucky Derby that's mm -hmm. made with Old Forester, which we love. Also a I brown prefer. foreman product. Mm -hmm. So, but, but Woodford Reserve has this whole deal with them where they're like the official... Kentucky Derby bourbon, and they make this fancy mint julep. Um, I went to Old Forester, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, to Woodford Reserve uh, when we went to the bourbon trail a few mm -hmm. years ago. It was my favorite place to go because mm -hmm. the cool thing about their distillery is it's a pretty big piece of land and mm -hmm. complex, but they use 
this much of it. Like there's a very small area. Now that might have changed in mm-hmm. the five or six years. I don't even know how long ago it was mm-hmm. I went, but it might have changed since then. But when we went, <clears throat> I was really impressed with they've got this large area, but they use this much of it to just make Woodford Reserve. Mm-hmm. So that was kind of cool. Um, but Woodford Reserve, uh, they actually at their distillery, um, it was built in 1838, the main building there, and it's now a National Historical Landmark. Mm-hmm. It's like one of the best preserved, like old style, like old distilleries in Kentucky. It's a really cool place to go. So if you ever do go to Kentucky, definitely make sure you go and visit it. Um, and they mix, this bottle right here is a mix of uh, what they distill at Woodford in the pot still, and then they have a column still at the Brown Foreman facility, and they mix it together. Now, most likely, that's mostly the stuff from the Brown Foreman because the Woodford distillery is so small. But whatever they do to this, it is a great, like, standard have on your shelf at all times. Yes. And when we do our mint julep video, that's going to be what's going in the mint julep. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. All right, let's All right, go. Next. Moving on. All right, our next up coming in at $36. Oh, I think you have this one on your side, my dear. I do. 90 proof, age 10 years. Wow. I happen to think this is the best value on the list. Ah, okay. Russell's Reserve. And who is uh, Mr. Russell? All right, so Russell's Reserve comes from Wild Turkey, mm-hmm. and this is gets its name from Jimmy and Eddie Russell, who are a father and son master distiller team. And that's quite nice. Wow. Yes, and so together these two guys have over 100 years of combined experience in distilling wild turkey. And basically <clears throat> what they do is they hand select the barrels that go into this and it is at least 10 years old. So what that means is it could be older. It is at least 10 years old. And you are getting this 90 proof, at least 10 year old bourbon for $36 a bottle. And to me, that that's a great value. Mm-hmm. All that for age sure. for 36 bucks, fantastic. And the Russell's Reserve line has a bunch of variations that sound amazing because I haven't had a lot mm-hmm. of them. But they've got, so I have them here. The single barrel and the single barrel private select, I have a bottle of each of those. They're great. They're up at 110 proof. This one's 90. So they're a little higher proof, but they're great. Are they more expensive too? They are. They're quite a bit more expensive. And actually, they're all these wild turkey bottles, including this one, are starting to climb up. So Mm -hmm. we're getting this video in right under the wire (laughs) because this is about to go up over 40 bucks. Um, But they've got... Uh, Russell's Reserve 13, that's, now that one's gone for as much as $600 in some places. Holy moly. Now, since it's become more of a regular release, they Mm -hmm. just put out, they're putting out another release of it. It's gone down a little bit, Mm -hmm. but they had a Russell's Reserve 17 year in 2002 that I would love to try. There's no way you would find it though. Mm -hmm. A six year rye in 2007, a single barrel rye in 2015. So this Russell's Reserve line is pretty varied. And they put out some pretty special bottles. This one you should be able to find pretty much everywhere. And I would say of all the ones on our list, like I said, this is a great value mm-hmm. at the 10 years, 36 bucks. Um, the guy at the liquor store up the street actually just said that across the board, they're all going up like five or six bucks. Yeah. So this will probably at this point go up over $40. Still a great value though. Yeah. All right, what's next? Next, we've got New Riff. Now, we have uh, looked at a New Riff bottle before. Mm-hmm. We've reviewed it, but it has not been the bottled and bond version. Right. Um, so, we tasted this one. This one's really getting close to the $40 mark. Mm-hmm. Uh, $39, and it's a 100 proof bottled and bond. And this one's a bit younger than our Russell's. It's mm-hmm. at four years. So, And I think we can taste that a bit. Um, yeah. Smelling it and tasting it, I can really... Uh, you can feel that age a bit more mm-hmm. than the other bourbons Definitely. in this under $40 category. So this one's 30% rye. And I think that's probably why we, um, of all the bottles, this one falls a little bit lower in our mm-hmm. rankings. 
Um, but it's still a good bottle. Yes, definitely. Um, and you get a lot of vanilla oak mm -hmm. taste with this, but it does have a pretty strong alcohol smell to it. Yeah. And a pretty strong rye burn at the end. Yes, definitely. The One of the things I love about New Riff is I feel like this is a, a, a craft distillery that really has worked on... You know, most craft distilleries, you think, oh, I'm getting a bunch of really young mm -hmm. bourbon uh, that they're just rushing out. And New Riff really took their time. They sourced at the beginning. Um, if you ever see a bottle that has OKI on it, o Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana, that's what it stands for. Mm -hmm. That was their source whiskey. Okay. And that's since been discontinued. This is all their own stuff now. Mm -hmm. So they took the time to distill and age their own stuff. And I really do kind of like their whole vibe of kind of putting a new um, riff mm -hmm. on <laughs> and a really old tradition. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I respect what they're doing. I can't wait. We're I'm going to the uh, to Kentucky in May, and I can't wait on the way in. Like this is right over the border, right across it's from on Cincinnati. Your on your stop schedule. Yeah, we're definitely mm -hmm. going to stop. At New Riff and and at uh, the, I think it's called the Party Spot, which is mm -hmm. the liquor store right next to it that the owner used to own. Um, so we're going to go and, and give them a visit and check it out. But I, I really like what they're doing. Their barrel proof is really, really good. Mm -hmm. And this is a, a really good value at thirty nine ninety nine. Mm -hmm. So we're just under the getting $40. Right under. Yeah, we're getting close, but... It's a great bottle. It's a great bottle. So well, I definitely. look forward. You got to send us some footage from the road. Oh, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> we'll, we'll send lots of videos from the road when we're in Kentucky in May. All right. So last on our list, number five, um, is Maker's Mark Cask Strength. And this is our only weeded bourbon on the list. It's our highest proof bourbon. And it also is at the highest price point along with the new Rift at mm -hmm. $39.99. So tell us about it. Okay. So... This is a weeded bourbon. Right. Right. So we're going to get really soft flavors. And it's kind of like trying a rye bread versus a wheat bread. Like mm -hmm. when you when you eat rye bread, it's a little bit stronger mm -hmm. of a flavor, right? It comes through a bit more. When you when you eat like wheat bread or 12 grain wheat, it kind of, it's a little bit softer in mm -hmm. flavor. It's more muted, I mm -hmm. would say. Um and that allows then the corn flavor to come through and the sweetness of the corn to come through more, yeah. more so here. So um, we said this one's coming in at like right under $40. $39.99. Yeah. Yep. And it's, uh, it's got, I would say, very drinkable, very smooth. Um, You're a Makers I, fan. I do like Makers, yeah. So um, this one's definitely a recommend. Yeah. And this I is... like the higher proofs too. Yeah, I like, this is, I like all the proofs. <laughs> <laughs> this is everything you like about makers and then dialed up to that higher proof mm -hmm. so that you get that extra bit of flavor. Um, we're talking about 109 proof. So um, it's almost 20 point proof points higher than a regular maker's mark. Mm -hmm. And all of that extra proof equates to flavor. Right. And we tasted these beforehand and this one did really well. We it really, did. really like this one. Um, Although so, I did rank, not surprisingly, the Four Roses yeah. above Makers. But Makers came in strong, too. She likes that high rye bourbon. <laughs> and I prefer... It's very I, different. Yeah, I really. Mm -hmm. I really like the sweeter stuff. So mm -hmm. things like Makers and Old Forester that have that sweeter flavor to it, I really like. But none of these are going to disappoint you. And for the price point, like to get bourbons of this quality at under 40 bucks. Mm -hmm. Chef's kiss. They're great. Yes. All right, guys. So there are five really, really good bourbons that you can get around that $40 price point. Not one of these you'll be disappointed in. That's right. So what are your favorite bourbons? Don't forget to comment. Right. And please make sure you like, subscribe, share this video, and hit the bell for notifications so you never miss a new video on Bourbon School. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Your love. Now, um, Four Roses actually has a really cool story behind it. Yeah. Um, so uh, this, the the creator, John uh, John Paul Jones. Oh my God, no, not John Paul Jones. Jesus Christ. I have not yet begun to fight. 